Hi everybody, so Trainer Tip Thursday. Today I wanna to talk about spinal mobility. So I'm gonna give you four different stretches and exercises. Um, we're gonna start off with cat cow, which is a really just good mobility exercise for your spine. Just kind of good to loosen up everything in those muscles. Um, I'm gonna give you a T stretch. I'm gonna give you a table or wall stretch. And then I'm also gonna give you a strengthening exercise. So starting off with cat cow, um, it is definitely a yoga move that you've probably seen plenty of times before. You wanna make sure that your toes are tucked, wrists are right under those shoulders, knees are under hips. We want to make sure that we're not arching our back to start, but we are keeping that tailbone tucked and we're not drooping our neck forward. And then from there, there are two different ways you can just focus on that low spine by just tilting that pelvis up and down. It'll also help you get more control over your pelvic floor. And then we also just have upper with that cat cow coming up and down, squeezing those shoulder blades back and down. Then we've got our normal cat cow where we're doing both at the same time. So we're contracting and then we're releasing, making sure that we're bringing that spine into motion, breathing out as we bring yourself up into cat and breathing in as you bring yourself into cow. You can also wag the tail here and you can jump rope it around as well, but just kind of really good for spinal health and mobility. Then we have your T stretch, at least that's what I call it. It goes by multiple different names, but I like to start off laying down. I like to do a little bit of bringing my knee to my chest and then I'll switch it out. I might do a little bit of egg here. And then once I feel a little bit more stretched out, I'm going to release that knee, bring it cross body. And then my other arm is going straight out and I'm looking toward that side just to get that nice spinal stretch and that nice rotation, making sure that my shoulder blades are on the ground for this one. And then I'm very slowly bringing myself back to center to make sure that I'm not misaligning anything in my spine. And you wanna do that on both sides. Then we have just like a wall or a table stretch. I prefer to do this on the table versus on a wall. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hands or I'm trying to show you from this way. Um, forearms on the table and then from there you're going to sit back and just kind of feel that stretch in that upper back. It's okay to have a little bit of that upper arch here but we don't want to let our low back arch. We still want to keep that tucked. This is going to be a nice stretch out. You'll feel it right in your lats, right under your armpits and then between your shoulder blades. We'll kind of help you out. I kind of have a weird table here but you can also do it on the wall. Same way here. Fold and flat. I mean, you could even feel it doing this um, at the moment. It's just kind of whatever works better for you. And then that last one is going to be a strengthening exercise. So it's actually going to be Superman's. Really good for back strength. It's going to work all parts of your back. So you want to make sure that you are pointing your toes, although you can't see it in the video. Pointing your toes. You want to bring your thumbs up toward the ceiling to keep your shoulders rotated out. We don't want them in. And then we want to make sure that we're lowering our shoulders down. So rolling back down and setting our shoulder blades into place here from there. If I relax, you can kind of see my butt a little bit more up in the air, have a little bit more of an arch in my low back. So what I'm doing is I'm tucking, squeezing my butt and giving the floor a hug with my pelvis. And then from there, I'm squeezing my glutes to lift my legs. My low back is gonna activate. And then I'm squeezing those shoulder blades back and down to help lift my arms up. Now, while you're doing this, you're going to want to make sure you're breathing. And you don't even have to hold. We've also done the alternating. But we want to make sure that as we do come up, your belly button is going to want to shoot down toward the floor. So making sure we're keeping that in and contracted the entire time. I see Superman's being done incorrectly all the time. So just making sure we got that tuck, we got our core contracted, and that we're breathing.